come. So please welcome our very special team of paranormal investigators headed by Yvette Fielding and the incomparable Sarah Katora. Oh, oh the God. smell, it's horrible up here. Come on, Sam, you have to help me with this. Come on. <gasps> Who was that? 12,000 entries to come and see the show on Monday night. There's doctor's conditions. Give me more. Give me more. I feel sick. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? I feel sick. It's bits. There's, there's stomach and intestines. There's hearts. There's everything in here. It's not, oh, Jesus, you You're okay? Right. I don't doubt at all that it's a genuine experience. <laughs> no, Isaac. No, Isaac. Please, please. Why did you step on the bus? Don't step on the bus. Edmund Haley was uh, an astronomer, uh, Haley's Comet's name for him. He actually succeeded John Pansteed as the Royal Observer uh, Astronomer. He's beat him. He's beat him and he's beat him. Oh, look, he's fallen down the stairs. He's gone right down. Where is Derek from? We were inundated. 13,000 texts on this. Why is it stopped on the first floor? Why did you do that? The staff check it every night before they leave. It's happened to me in that building. Come on, it's gone, it's got it's moved off on its own. We've not we've not pressed any of the buttons. It's just moved off on its own and it's gone up to level two and it's jammed. You've got to turn the key to make the lift go up. Yeah. And it's just gone off on its own. Most Haunted Live. Now we're here in the outside broadcast unit, CTV's massive truck. And um, what a lot of people don't realise is as we're coming live from Derby, beaming these pictures to you, there are a lot of people behind the cameras, behind the scenes, that make Most Haunted Live work. And here they all are, the producers, directors, vision mixers, PA. Say hello, everybody. There they are, they're a lovely bunch. They are. Give them a wave, everybody. There you go. Right now, as we come outside, I just want to show you around of exactly where we are based in Derby because it is in fact the dead centre of Great Britain. Now we're actually situated on site uh, between two stretches of river and we're actually sitting on top of converging ley lines where apparently a lot of paranormal activity uh, occurs. Now there's a lot of trucks here and that's the actual satellite dish that is beaming the pictures to you live to your homes. But where are the 400 most haunted live audiences? Well they're all situated in that and David Ball is inside to welcome you. Hello. Hello, good evening and welcome. Thank you very much, Yvette, and welcome to our centre of operations for the next three hours. Our investigation team will be out and about visiting some very peculiar places tonight. So to try and make sense of it all, we need some pretty formidable experts. So over here to my left, please will you say hello to our resident historians. It's Richard Jones and Richard Felix. Good evening to you. Good evening. Now, Richard... Um, Richard Felix, first of all, this is very much your patch, isn't it? Derby is your patch. This Last night was a great show. Tonight, the locations we have, without giving too much away, how do you feel tonight will go? Um, I thought last night was excellent, slightly tepid, but I think tonight it's going to start hotting up because we've got some fantastic locations tonight, very haunted. I have to say, I thought last night was great. What about you, Richard Jones? I enjoyed it very much, and uh, tonight I think it's going to be even better. We've, I've been round with Richard to some of those locations today, and they are special. Thank you very much for the moment. Now, already making themselves rather comfortable, if you ask me, rather too comfortable on the sofa over here, is our resident psychologist and full-time, almost immovable sceptic. It's Matthew Smith, and with him, our guest medium and astrologer, David Wells. Okay, so one of the reasons that we're live is so that you at home can take part in tonight's action. We need your help. We really do. And there are so many ways that you can join in. So to guide us through the process, please will you say hello to our interactive team, headed by the man who is connected to more people in the United Kingdom than anyone else. It's Julian Clegg.
OK. Well, I can see Julian is ready. We're all set. Well, we're almost ready to go. All we need now is the investigators. So please, will you welcome a young lady who is most haunted. It's Yvette Fielding with our own new psychic investigator, Kieran O'Keefe, and the Imparallel, Derek Acora. to say it's fantastic to see you I know all these people here um, it's fantastic to see you at the top of the show it's very, it's very unusual yeah. now you already are concerned about tonight for one particular reason yes there is a location that um, in Derby that I visited or the team actually visited in the first year that we actually did uh, the program and um, I vowed that I would never, ever go back there again. It is the most terrifying place to me, and it still haunts me to this day. But you are going back? Yes. Why? Because we've been told, you must go back there. And what about you, Derek? You're also revisiting this place. How do you feel about it? Well, there's unfinished business, David. Yeah. Spiritual and psychically. And, you know... That sounds I, very ominous. Well, not really. I feel that the spirit people that were there on that time and that location, there was other things to, to come that were held back feel something extra. Is going you to think tonight show. will be the night? Since I woke up this morning, spiritual psychic hackles have been... He's, he's been going on all <laughs> really? day about it. Okay, yeah. well, we'll see what happens. And Kieran, last night, your first live show on Most Haunted Live, what was it like? Mediumship and apparent phenomena at loads of haunted locations. What more could a paranormal investigator want? Fantastic. Ooh. Okay, well, I know that you're only part of the team, obviously. The rest of the team are out and about already setting up at the next location. But tell us about the rest of your team. Absolutely. Okay, here's a quick look at who they are and what they do. Here we go. Now, of course, there's John Dibley. He's actually the cameraman. Uh, he's had five unexplained things happen to him during the series that we've been filming. Uh, he collapsed, actually, in Belgrave Hall during the seance, which he was really quite frightened about. Uh, the next person is uh, Thomas O'Carroll. He's our sound man. He's very, very sceptical about the whole thing. He's the logic and keeps our feet on the ground, but he hears everything that goes bump in the night. Then, of course, there's lovely Kath Howe. She's the makeup artist. She's, all, uh, she, she's always crying, bless her. She's worse than me. And uh, the worst place she went to was Brannigan's. Then there's Sally Matthews. She's our floor manager. Uh, quite new to it. Um, so who knows what could happen. Last night, she was very brave indeed. Then, of course, Carl Beatty, our stunt man. There's no place that that man will not go. <laughs> he's had multiple unexplained uh, things happen to him and his worst case was Chillingham Castle. Then of course Kieran O'Keefe who we just met, our brand new paranormal investigator. Uh, so we'll see what happens uh, tonight and also your worst uh, experience was in Edinburgh Vaults. Then of course Derek. We don't even know anything about Derek because we all know so much about him already. But the worst view is Brannigan's as well. Um, and then we have uh, myself, really. What can I say? I just scream a heck of a lot. And the worst place for me so far was a place called Greengate Brewery uh, in Manchester. And if any of you watched the series recently, I again started crying and screaming terribly. So that's it, really. That's the team. <laughs> so a couple of screamers, including myself. But uh, we shall see. We shall see how we go tonight. We certainly shall. And I know that there is one member of the team missing. Uh, there certainly is. Okay, well, that's certainly true. And even they don't know who they are yet because someone in this audience is about to get the shock of their life any second now. Look at their faces when I said that. Um, <laughs> should we do this now, Yvette? Yes, let's do it. Let's put them out of their misery. Okay, what we're going to do, I want to ask our lighting director, Paul, to set some random lights going. And what I'm going to do is ask Paul to stop the lights when we hear the word zero. So let's take all the lights down.